Mega Man. Once again. Once again, the Mega Man. See, this, this solves a lot of problems for me, because I was going like, okay, well, how are we going to do Mega Man Zero? Because, like, I have the Game Boy games, but then there's the DS release. We're going to jerry-rig. Which one, like, which one am I going to do on my homebrewed <laughs> fucking uh, Wii U emulator? It was, like, a whole conundrum for me, and this, like, really fucking, it was, like, the day after we finished Mega Man X5, <laughs> yeah. that it was like, Mega Man Zero Legacy Collection. It's like, oh, that solves the problem. Because <laughs> now I can just do this, and it's a really fucking good one. <laughs> so, first couple of things uh, involving the a couple of treat Legacy Collection release is their special background music. So this will, like... Certain songs will get remixed instead of playing the actual original music. It'll play the uh, remixed version, and they're all pretty good. But I'm gonna stick with the original as much of the original experience as possible for these. Um, and then this is not relevant to what we're gonna do, but. I do like how the, how uh, the voiceover for the ZX gives you the. I cannot believe, I literally can't believe that Capcom held on to the master that is for for these voice like fucking in 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 a in the games <clears throat> industry where Konami cannot keep track of the source code for Silent Hill 2, <laughs> the single most famous game they have ever produced. <clears throat> Aside from Metal Gear, I guess. I cannot believe Capcom, of all people, held on to the master for the voice acting for a DS game. Nintendo... That didn't even do <clears throat> particularly well. <laughs> Nintendo did not hang on to the master recordings of Star Fox 64 and had to recast and re-record the game <laughs> when they re-released it on the 3DS. Capcom of all people continuing the redemption arc. So, the other thing is, uh, you can turn this on and off during the game. Uh, there's this save assist feature, uh, which a lot of people are praising. And it is nice but I have a lot of problems with it, like little nitpicks that kind of bother me about it. So we're going to start without it, but I'll explain how it works. Uh, and then there's the casual scenario mode, which is just the easy mode. I'm actually not going to play it with this, unlike the X games. <laughs> because I played the shit out of these games on the Game Boy back when I was a kid. So <laughs> yes. I'm actually, like, I'm not terrible at them. However, I reserve the right to switch over if I get pissed off. Which you will. <laughs> Which I absolutely will. If I get- it's just- it's way too easy. It's just like ridiculously easy to an absurd degree, and it removes gameplay mechanics. Actually removes gameplay mechanics from the game. Sorry, I have a cat, by the way. He's yes. I don't know if the purring is getting picked up. Oh, <laughs> and time cuddle over. time is over. Oh, that's it. Time you could have gotten lower before doing that. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> So we're going to start, and if I get pissed off, I will switch over. Uh, but we're going to start with the original... Make no mistake. Mega Murn. <laughs> Zerder. Because we did X, oh. and now it's time for Z. We skipped Y. We skipped Mega Man Y. Cat activities? I guess the Battle Network games were Mega Man Y. <clears throat> for reference, we recorded the Mega Man X series... Uh, last summer. At a different location. Yeah, in a different, shittier place. <laughs> so there's also a bunch of different screen layouts. So uh, you could play it with the original. It's not. The Game Boy Advance had a way smaller screen than this. So I don't <laughs> know why everyone's saying, like, the original aspect ratio. But you can play it with a super tiny fucking screen. <laughs> and hopefully it'll play in attract mode or something. So that's not just nothing. Not nothing, dude. Okay, it's not doing that. <laughs> um, there. 
<laughs> so you can play with the super compressed, super, oh, super tiny fucking window. Uh, to emulate the fact that it is a tiny little Game Boy game. And I guess it does look... The sprites do look a lot better. Looks the way it's supposed to look. It looks the way it's supposed to look. Or you can play a little bit bigger. I don't... This is like some weird middle ground thing. Uh, which I don't understand the reason for. Or you can play it just standard definition, <laughs> I guess. Or with the widescreen, which makes it just look Man. like absolute shit. <laughs> this is actual sh Oh my god. So, this with the filter. Oh no! Oh, no. oh my uh, god. It's gross. You. Stop including this option. Yeah. No one wants this. Jesus. No, what about an emulated CRT? Yeah, let's play the emulated How, CRT with a tiny like, screen. It's nothing like that. Yeah, this is just actual shit. I, like, okay. The argument for this type of thing is CRTs provided, like, a version of anti-aliasing where the little pixels kind of got smoothed together by the shape and lighting of the screen. This game was not released on a CRT, it was, was released on a Game Boy Advanced. Yeah, it's so a crystal as well. I don't see why the fuck that option would be included. Uh, but they also included a whole bunch of distracting ass wallpapers. I hate that. It is so fucking distracting. I don't know why anyone would play it, but there are a lot of them. <laughs> there are certainly a lot of them. Including a secret one I don't have yet, because I think you have to play through Z Chaser in order to unlock it. Yes. So I was gonna do it like this. So Mega Man Zero One is <laughs> <laughs> the fucking weirdest Mega Man game ever fucking made, and you're gonna see what I mean by that as we go through it. But it is so weird. I'm gonna picture in your head like the platonic idea of a Mega Man game that exists in your head, right? What is that game? Mega Man 1. <laughs> That's interesting, because I think Mega Man 2 is probably most people's ideal, because Mega Man 1 yeah. had six <clears throat> boss masters. Yeah. Mega Man 1 had... Uh, sorry. Mega Man 1 had six boss masters, Mega Man 2 had eight, and that was the standard. Um, but imagine in your head the platonic ideal of a Mega Man game. What do you see? A boss select screen right at the beginning, where you just pick one of eight robot masters right at the beginning. Silver Surfer. Um... And it's just, it's, it's, it's this whole thing. So Mega Man Zero does some weird fucking shit. Uh, this is also a game where I imagine I'm going to do a lot of editing. Because I have a lot of ideas, but... Let's just start... ...人が、デオアルカディアという名乗り総教に繋がり、罪な木レプリロイドを処分していく。悲しい時代。私は、デオアルカディアに追われるレプリロイドたちと共に。Get thrown right into it. Puff, puff, puff. Arg. That titty thing, then? <laughs> what? Puff, puff. 
<laughs> Dragon Ball. <laughs> Did you think that Dragon what? Quest Puff Puff? <laughs> That's so quick. Did you think what? <laughs> so we're opening. This is one of my favorite things that not a lot of games do, which is we're opening on the ending of someone else's story. <laughs> This whole op- Oh, fuck that! Oh, blood. <laughs> My god, this is rated T. Robot blood. Oil? Puff, puff, puff. Puff, puff. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, it really zoomed in for some fucking reason. Let me blow this- <laughs> Let's blow this popsicle stand. I've never encountered a popsicle stand. So what don't you see here? <laughs> I noticed a lack of boobs. Thank you <laughs> so much! <laughs> I'm gonna emphasize this. <laughs> oh no, the screenshot got taken at the wrong point. Oh no. There are no boobs. <laughs> no boobs. And I'm so grateful you did not say <laughs> arms, first of all. <laughs> I'm so grateful that you and I are the same wavelength, where immediately the first thing you notice <laughs> is the lack of boobs. The very first thing. Lack of boobs are cool. It's also fucking weird because he's wearing the red vest in his sprite, but in that close-up, he's not wearing the red vest. It's weird. So someone's fucking lying. Someone's lying to us. <laughs> someone think it's the government. Someone's lying to me about what is on Zero's chest. <laughs> so a lot of people take that as evidence that the boobs are not built in. <laughs> built in boobs, B.I.B. But you cannot dissuade me. <laughs> you cannot dissuade me from the canonicity of Zero's green boobs. <laughs> he don't got arms. He don't got arms either, bitch. Not then. Anyway. Not then. We found him at last. So I note that this guy has a unique character portrait. We will never see that character portrait on anyone else. It's protected. Someone broke off the tab on the VHS. You can't record over it. When you see? Record it, see? You this is different. I like how they switched it from... Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. We have to evacuate now. Where? That's the exit. <laughs> oh fuck. Milan. So this is the ending of this game. Opens up on the ending of Milan's story. It's like he's got a name. He got a unique character portrait. Seal cares about him. Sile. However the fuck you pronounce that. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Seal. Seal. Seal! Seal! Seal gong! <laughs> She's sad. And it has a ponytail. <laughs> like Zero. And also, like, hair that's just stapled on the front of her forehead. <laughs> huh? Oh, sorry, I got distracted. Oh, anyway. You should use my power. This is a cool shot. No one talks like that. That's a cool shot, though. <laughs> it's like the- it's like the- They got their dicks out. <laughs> the, okay, well, that's not what I was gonna say. <laughs> it's like the Terminator, almost. The T-1000? 1001? Whatever it's called. Goodbye. Pass Let's get an F in the chat for Passy. <laughs> Is 
Zero has been resurrected. Resurrected the Zero? Help me. Luffy. Help me. I have a very specific line read in my head <laughs> of how she says that, and I'm gonna edit that in. There's gonna be a lot of editing in this first video. <laughs> Mission started. So, first of all, <laughs> I do my key bindings. <laughs> Second of all, um, so this is gonna be like revealed as we go through. Uh, but Zero in this instant at the beginning of the game, he's got amnesia. He does not remember anything about the original X series of games. How do robots get in? Okay, so shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. He doesn't remember shit, he doesn't remember X, he doesn't remember Iris, he doesn't remember his own name, he doesn't remember fucking shit about nothing. This first moment in time is the very first instance of his existence. And what's the first thing he does? Kick some ass. The first thing he does is kill everything in front of him, and... Help out Seal. And slam some fucking quality puss. Seal said, help me, and he <laughs> does. <laughs> Sorry, I remember something that happened last night that has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> <laughs> she says, help me, and he helps her. By killing lit Damn, that jump, Seal. <laughs> By killing literally everything that he fucking sees in front of him. <laughs> everything Shooting dies. Oranges. So this is Zero at his ground state. No preconceptions, no prior experiences, nothing is in the way. No programming from Wily, no virus influencing him, nothing. Kill CIH. Zero, the instant he fucking comes into existence, does two things. Help out Seal, and murder the shit out of everything in front of him. That is Zero. That is the Tubula Rasa of Zero. Seal, you bitch. He <laughs> likes to kick ass and fuck, fuck ass. That sounded more clever in my head. Okay, I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll copyright strike your YouTube channel. <laughs> this is the clean slate version of Zero. What does he do? With, like, just purely on muscle memory. Bam. Gotta save that puss. <laughs> ew. Don't fucking say ew. No, they're like in sewage. Oh, yeah. Well, like, they're robots, so they don't poop. I don't think that's been established. Oh, man, imagine if robots had to poop. I imagine. I've, in fact, written several fan Okay, things. moving on. Go to... Archive of our own. Okay, please don't. This place seems to be a prehistoric <laughs> laboratory. Seal. Uh -huh. I don't think you know what that word means. <laughs> trans server. Why would a prehistoric laboratory have a trans server? Seal. Seal. Siru. 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 Sile. Silo. How nice. Don't be sarcastic with Don't me. Don't fuck me around, You bitch. fucking blonde bitch. You bimbet. Shall we go back to where? Like, what was your plan? <laughs> what was any of your plan? And how did you get here? <laughs> what was any of your plan? Stay back, at least 500 feet. Oh, shit. White bitch in trouble. Be prepared for sudden stops and turns. You can't damage this thing with a buster. Okay, don't... First of all... Don't tell me what I can do. <laughs> Second of all, look, I'm damaging it right now. With look my at, oranges. Look at how dam look at how damaged it is. <laughs> yeah, Zero doesn't have lemons, he uses oranges. Got those orange, she got them clementines. Look, bitch, it's getting damaged. I see the blip I see the blips on its fucking health meter going down. Don't talk shit at me about fucking Buster. Compatibility. <laughs> Rats! Rats! Tubula Rasa Zero. Ground state, no preconception zero. It says rats. Rats. Gosh darn it to heck. Gosh hecking darn it. Oop. <laughs> heckin' babe. Zero, use this. What is it? It's your saber. Okay, well it doesn't look like how I remember it. 
Don't worry about that. <laughs> well, you have amnesia, so you don't you don't remember anything. Okay. Don't ruin my joke. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Shut Sorry, up! I've been trying to I was trying to think of something humorous to compare that logo to and I couldn't get there. Oh fuck. But Yeah. Use that unique crouching animation that we can't <laughs> actually do in game. そして、私たちでは歯が立たなかったゴーレムを俺の名前か。思い出せ。無理やり起こしてしまって。ごめんなさい。お願い。あなたの力を借りたいの。俺がそのゼロじゃなかったらどうする。私にとってはあなたはもうゼロなのよ。I can't believe you were able to destroy a golem. I mean, I don't appreciate the lack of confidence. <laughs> you are a zero. The legendary reploid. Okay, first of all, zero is not a reploid. <laughs> I guess we really were the Final Fantasy <laughs> 13. Zero. Is that my name? I can't remember. Can't remember shit. Dunk. Dunk. Star Wars reference. Hibernation sickness. Star Wars reference. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really make sense. <laughs> he has amnesia. Shut up. Seal. Thank you for seeing me. My name's Seal. I'm sorry. Can you please can you... spell that out photo phonetically for me? Can you give me a pronouns guide? I'm a scientist. Okay. I do the science. What if I'm not the zero you were talking about? Foreshadowing! Oh, fuck me in the tits. You are a zero. That's what you're calling. Ah, oh, Seal, they didn't Bye -bye. bother to make an animation of you walking through the door. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the transfer. Did you just fucking assume his gender? <laughs> his. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, I'm seeing a lot of options here, Seal. You want to walk me through this? Mm -mm. What about exit? I want to exit the level. <clears throat> this is the Chow Garden. Okay, so that didn't work. <laughs> anyway. Yeah! Success. That was awful. Oh my god, that's <laughs> the worst I've ever done. I was fucking around for a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> Enemy, 54. Uh, so, this result screen is literally the bane of my fucking existence. Uh, it drives me insane. <laughs> Sniper. <laughs> Generic. I was a machete slash. I'm dancing to the music. He's doing a dance. <laughs> Welcome to a resistance base, Zero. Ah, Guys don't have brooms? <laughs> it's it really fucking beat up here. Showing for injured reploids, respected of being mavericks. So here's where the really interesting thing about the Zero series comes into play. I'm gonna let her go through this real quick. I don't think the localization for the original Zero game is very good. <laughs> Most of us think that Zero is nothing but a fantasy. 
is not a sentence that makes any sense. <laughs> so I want to say zero is nothing but a myth? Yeah. A zero legend? is a legend? You call it in the legendary reploid. Zero a person can't be a fantasy. What? <laughs> if you still believe in the existence of Virginia. That's also an awkward sentence. <laughs> who fought with X to save the world a hundred years ago. So interestingly, so established point number one, this place we're at right now is populated by Mavericks. Established point number two, this game takes place a hundred years after anything that we know about from the X series of games. And also, as we were Savage Zero has amnesia, so he doesn't remember X or anything else. That legendary Reploid is still alive. And he's trying to retire us all. What? <laughs> What's your pension plan? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, uh... I think it's interesting that they call it retire because of their robots, and that's like a... Total Recall thing. <laughs> it's like, you can't say we're killing them because they're robots... Fuck it. Retired. Formatting our hard drives. X is trying to retire you? I think, <laughs> what the fuck? I think he's just confused about your 401k yeah, plan. <laughs> he's confused about the terminology more than anything. His plans have already begun. He put up that magnet that, used, that would erase VHS tapes. <laughs> he just put that to our heads and they just like, that's it. It does a lot of damage. <laughs> so establish point number three, X is... Apparently trying to kill a bunch of innocent Reploids. They're being retired as we speak. Mario graffitied all of Delfino. Please help us. No. No way. <laughs> I understand. You need time to think about it. That's not what I said. Change your mind. Please talk to me, okay? Uh, no. First of all, this base is all gross. What the fuck is back here? What are these? Busted tubes. I hate you. I'm going into your room and I'm going to steal your shit. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shit on the bed. Here I go. Into your room, which is only accessible uh, when you have an A rank. Otherwise, the door is locked. Look at me. I'm a, well, here's your, your here's your bed. Your T. Your stupid. Okay. First of all, what? This is a bunk bed up here. <laughs> is this like a shower? <laughs> what the like fuck is this? <clears throat> and you got like a little picture here next to a coffee thing. You know, clothes that you never wear. This room, this room confuses me. Uh, that picture up here is actually in the concept art. That's a piece of concept art they compressed <laughs> down super fucking tiny. <laughs> so that room you can only access if you have an A rank. Um, I'm going to hit you up in a second. I'm going to hit you up. I'm going to talk about gameplay stuff. So, first of all, fuck! Uh, notice... That we have two weapons. We have the main weapon and the sub weapon. And we can switch between them by pressing L1. So this and is the very. The slide goes back on the little. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love that. Touch. I love that detail. Uh, so the, here's the big difference between the. Not the big, I mean, there's a lot of differences. Uh, between the X series and the Zero series is Zero does not get new weapons from beating bosses he just has his z saber and then a buster which interestingly is not a buster it's not like in his arm it's just a gun <laughs> he's just <laughs> using a gun in his hand he's just <laughs> shooting a fucking normal gun <laughs> and concept art establishes this is just a normal ass gun that he picked up from milan's body and it's just he's, this is a normal ass gun that for some reason is shooting lemons instead of the bullets <laughs> that it was shooting when Milan was using it. Imbuster, <laughs> bitch, imbuster. And then he's got the Z saber, and that's it. You don't get new weapons from beating bosses like X does because Zero wasn't built to do that. Zero, because that'd be some gay shit. That'd be some gay shit. Zero don't swing that way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. He swing this way. Yeah. Fuck you. Slams fucking seals. Badge. Uh, and then number two, notice the stars underneath the the weapon. 
when you select it, uh, and how, concerningly, a lot of them are empty. <laughs> because in this fucking game, uh, in this fucking game, you have to level up. Let me get one of those extras. You have to level up the fucking weapons, and it's literally the worst fucking shit. <laughs> It is literally the worst goddamn gameplay <laughs> mechanic you could ever possibly fucking imagine. It infuriates me to such an excessive degree. Everyone hates it, because now every single time you start up a new save file from Mega Man Zero, you have to go back to this fucking lab area and stand in front of these fucking spider robots and just do this for 20 fucking minutes. <laughs> To level up your weapons. Now I can do the second swing. Yay! Yay! It's so fucking horrible. 